hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be making this little guy right here this little blue Easter Bunny let's get started Alright guys, so we're going to use a number 5 millimeter hook or a H hook and I'm going to use, I'm going to use weird colors but they're kind of pastel-y like Easter colors but I want you to be able to see them so I'm going to use this blue and then some yellow just for the edge side, the bottoms of the feet and stuff like that. So everything we're going to do today is going to be in a magic ring. So um, magic rings aren't that difficult if there's beginners watching. You just have to learn properly. So start with your two fingers and your yarn. And you're going to wrap your yarn around your fingers coming behind this piece. Go across your ring finger and hold it with your pinky. You're going to come up, so I'm going to move my ring over so I can hold that tight. So you're going to come up with your hook, you're going to grab this guy, you're going to turn, you're going to pick up this yarn, and you're going to come through the hole. So in all one smooth move, you've made your magic ring with your chain one, so it's secured. So once you have your magic ring done, you're going to put 10, we're, we're starting with the body of the rabbit in case you're wondering. So once your magic ring is done, you're going to put 10 single crochets inside that ring. So I just like to pull down with my finger here to keep the ring nice and tight. And I like to just hold these two pieces of yarn tight. If it feels like it's getting out of control, you can close it a little bit. So that's 10. Pull your tail and close it up. Um, I'm going to be working in a spiral. I'm not going to be chaining one. I'm not going to be slip stitching. I'm just going to get a color here that you're going to see. Um, and this isn't going to be a beginner style video even though I am going to try to do some teaching. Uh, I'm not going to be taking a whole lot of time to be working with you constantly because it's going to be a very long video and probably in a number of parts. So I will be fast forwarding through spots. I will be just completely skipping spots and letting you work on your own and stuff like that so um, but I will go I will go easy on you so now that we've done that we're not going to slip stitch we're not chaining one we're going to work in a spiral so in each stitch around you're going to put two single crochets in each stitch so put your first stitch which is always a pain in the bum into there into your first stitches and you're going to put your stitch marker and then you're going to put your second one so it's always the first stitch that you make and then you can put your second one into that same stitch so two stitches each stitch around
Alrighty, so now that we have 20, so just count your stitches and make sure you have 20. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So I have 20. Don't forget to count the one that's on your hook too. So I have 20. So now our next row is going to be, which is round 3. So this was our first one. This was our second one. So round 3 is going to be two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the stitch after that. So, put our stitch marker back in. So two single crochets in that stitch and one single crochet in this stitch. That's your sequence all the way around. Two, one, two, one, two, one. So you should have a total of 30 stitches. So in round four, you're going to do a single crochet in each stitch around. And I'm at my 30. So round five, sorry, I'm just talking and pulling up my yarn too. <laughs> so round five is gonna be two single crochets in one stitch and then one single crochet each in the next two stitches. So two, one, one, two, one, one sequence. So two in that stitch, one in the next stitch, and one in the next stitch. And that's your sequence all the way around. Alright, we're back around again. So I just have my last sequence to do of 2 1 1, and you should end right at the marker. And you should also have a total of 40 stitches. So it should look like this so far.
So round six is just going to be simply single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 40 stitches. So now that that's done, row seven is going to be two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next three stitches. So we're still increasing. Get my stitch marker back. It's always in that first stitch. So two in that, and then one in the next three. And that's your sequence. So now we've come back around and we, I just have my last sequence to do which should fall at the stitch marker. So that's the kind of shape it should be. Looking mighty fine. So our next row again, this should this row should have 50 by the way. Uh, for the next 11 rows, you're just going to do single crochets in a spiral all the way around. So I'll start with you, but then I'm it's probably going to cut. And I'm uh, not going to be doing all of it with you. Just time constraints. This. This bunny project is um, going to take up a lot of video time, so I'm just trying to cut it down. So 50 stitches is what you should have all the way around for the next 11 rows. And it should be a little tight, you know, getting your needle in and out. That's amigurumi style, so. Um, I, I build my head onto my body. So we're not going to be doing the head separately. We're going to be doing the head all at the same time as we do the body because uh, I really don't like sewing head on. I thought I missed a stitch. I don't like sewing the heads on. It's so awkward. I mean, I have a great needle for doing it, which you'll see when we start sewing the body parts on, but uh, I would just prefer to just sew on the legs the ears, the arms, and the bunny tail. Anyway, I'll see you back here after you've done your 11 rows. Alright guys, so I just came back around. I've done my 11 rows. I'm just on my last stitch before the stitch marker. 
So this is what it should look like. So you should have 19 rows at this stage. So you can just count your spirals. So count on this side of your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So I've got my 19 rows done. Um, we, you only had to do 11 from where I left you off. So now we're on row 20 and we're going to start our decreases. So we're going to come in to the neck. This is our body part. So now we're going to come into our neck part. So that's going to be Okay, so our decrease sequence is going to be three single crochets, so one in each stitch, three single crochets, and then two together all the way around. So there's one, and I'm going to put my stitch marker back in. That's two, and then the next stitch, put another one. So that's three single crochets over three stitches. And then these next two, you're going to single crochet together. Just like that. We'll do it again. Three single crochets over three stitches, so one in each hole. And then single crochet two together. All the way around back to your stitch marker. Alrighty, so row 21 and 22 are just going to be straight single crochet all the way around. For a total of 40 stitches. Alright, so now that you've got your two rows done, 21 and uh, 22, we're going to be starting row 23, and it is another decrease row. So, the last time we did three stitches, so three single crochets in a decrease, and this one we are going to do two single crochets in a decrease. So, i just get into my stitch marker. So that's one, and this is two, and then we do our decrease, which is two single crochets together. And 
again. One and two and two single crochets together. Now make sure you're going way over here into this next stitch. Make sure you're not going back into that stitch. It can easily be done. Just something to watch out for. And the last two stitches. So if you're not falling back on this marker, that's probably what you've done is you've accidentally gone into this stitch to count it as a single crochet instead of into the next stitch. So, so they're starting to close up a little bit. So rows 24 and 25, the next two rows are just going to be Again, just single crochets in the next two rows. So I'll meet you back here after and we'll continue. All right, so we're back and I've got my two rows done. So now we're on row 26 and this is going to be another decrease row. But it is simply just going to be one single crochet. Put my stitch marker back and a decrease all the way around. So one single crochet and then two together for your decrease. So this is quite an aggressive decrease. We're getting ready to do our neck area. So you should have 20 stitches when you're done this. So you should have three stitches left before your marker. One of those is going to be a single crochet and then these last two are together for the decrease. Alrighty, so you can start, actually let's, let's get some polyfill and start putting some stuffing in this guy. So to get your, just kind of do this, to get it right out to the, you want to completely fill this guy and it's bigger than it looks. So 
So I just, um, you can do two ways. How I just did it was just driving my fist down around making a divot. Or you can do it this way. Kind of evening out your your fill. I'm not going to go too far with this. So i got a few more rounds before the neck. So you don't want to overfill it. As we'll be putting more stuff in it after. So we're on round 27. So for the next three rounds, you're going to do single crochets. This is building the neck area of your guy. And I'll meet you back here after your three rounds of single crochets. So you should have uh, 20 stitches in your round, so it should be pretty quick. Um, make sure I go into the right stitch here. So, I'm just going to start. So, some of your stitches are going to be elongated. Just be very vigilant on whether you're putting two stitches into one stitch because of that reason. For any beginners, anyway, that are watching. Not, not saying that intermediate crocheters don't make mistakes. I know I do. So two more rows. So two more rows and I'll meet you back here. Alright, so I got my three rows of single crochets done, so this should look like a little bomb at this point. I'm not sure I'm allowed to say bomb on YouTube, but I'm not monetized, so they don't really care. So, this is our neck completed. So, we're going to start increasing now for the head. So, that's about as, as big as the neck gets. So, our next row is going to be two single crochets in the next stitch. So there's one. Two single crochets in the same stitch. And then one single crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to do that sequence all the way around should be nice and short since there's only 20 stitches. And because we started with two, we're going to end with one. The last stitch just gets one. So now you should have 30 stitches again. 
So the next row is just going to be single crochet all the way around. One in each hole. So you should end the sequence at the marker. So we're going to go right into another increase sequence and it's going to be 2, 1, 1, 1. So it's getting pretty squishy. Stitches are getting smaller. So two in the same hole and just like we were doing before, three single crochets, one in each stitch. And then two in the same hole and three single crochets. So you can do that all the way around and I'll meet you back here. So again, your sequence should fall at your marker. So I'm just on my last bit, so that's two. It is so tight, but we are all done adding stitches. And the next seven rows is just going to be a single crochet all the way around. So I will leave you here and you can do your seven rows of single crochet all the way around. So your stitch count should be 50 stitches. And I'll meet you back here after. Alright guys, I'm done my seven rows. So next row, so now we've got our head, the bottom part of our head. So now we're gonna start um, um decreasing. Sorry, I was pulling up yarn. Apparently I can't do that and talk at the same time. So this next row is going to be a decreased row. So we're going to do three single crochets. So that's one in your marker. Two, three, 
and then you're going to do two together just like we did our decrease before and you're going to do that all the way around till you get, come back to your marker and at that point you should have 40 stitches So here's what I was explaining before. Some people will go back into here thinking there's a stitch there, but this stitch is taken up by the two together. You have to make sure you go into the next one. It's a common mistake. It happens to even the most experienced crocheters. So the next round is just going to be single crochets in each stitch around for a total of 40. Put my marker in the stitch over there. So just single crochet in each stitch around. Alright, so another decrease row is next and it's going to be two single crochets, one in each stitch and then your decrease of two together. So, one and two single crochets, one in each stitch and then single crochet two together all the way around at the end of this round you should have 30 stitches <laughs> getting closer and closer to the camera Our next row is just going to be 30 single crochets all the way around. 30, one in each stitch for 30 stitches. So your next row is another decrease row. You are going to do one single crochet and then two together. Sorry, I'm talking about the thing in my mouth. So one single crochet, put your stitch marker back. And then two together. One single crochet. And two together. Two 
all the way around. Sorry, it's getting harder and harder the taller it gets to be able to do this on camera. <laughs> it's a fairly big stuffed bunny. It's nothing small about it, that's for sure. Sorry if I'm not doing half of this on camera, but I'm trying not to bump into the camera. And it's just, if I let this go, that's how close to the camera it gets. So I'm trying to keep it all squished down. I'm going to have to put my camera up on some stilts. Oh, was I even at that? I'm not sure I was doing something right. So my last two. So, almost getting to be that time. So, let's do our next row of single crochets all the way around. And then I'll meet you back here. And we can put on the eyes and we can stuff the head and then we'll close it all up. So, one more round of single crochets. And every stitch around, you should have 20 stitches at this point around the top and I'll make back here in a minute. All right. So, I have got my last row done. I am going to start shoving some polyfill into this guy and really make sure that you get into this neck area really well. Really just jamming it down there into the neck area. I don't want to put too much because I don't want to see through it but I also don't want a wobbly head which because it's all attached and we're not sewing the head on probably not gonna be that bad so before I continue to fill the head I need to figure out where I'm putting my eyes so I like to just kind of flatten out a spot Got my whole pack of eyes. So, if you don't have these safety eyes, um, I suggest you go buy some. You can get a whole kit like this for 12 bucks on Amazon. So, you've got your color eyeballs, you've got your black eyeballs, and then these are noses. And you can actually get ones with, um, if you do dolls and not stuffed animals, but you can actually get one with safety lips. And that would be for dolls, so really cute. And then these are the backs that go on them. They're all threaded. So once the backs go on, they're not coming off. That's what makes them safety eyes. They can't fall off into a child's mouth. So, um, yeah, now it's just uh, determining what we're going to put on there for eyes. 
I think I'm probably just going to do black like I did with the other one. So I'm probably going to do 12 millimeter black because I want to put a nose on there and the nose is 11 millimeters so I don't want it to be too um, Oh, I can get a 12, 12 millimeter nose. I'll do a 12 millimeter nose. It's kind of an oval one. And, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to scrape off the, something on the side of that. So, I just got to determine where the eyes are going to go. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's say five rows down. I'm not gonna put the backs on now. I'm just gonna kind of look at it. One, two, three, four, five, maybe six apart. Five rows down, six apart. Looks not too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six rows down. How's that look? Because once the, uh, once the bags are on, I can't change it. doesn't look too bad. Oh, I need the big ones for that. And then a smaller one for the nose, I'm guessing. Oh, no, maybe not. No, I need a bigger one. Oh yeah, they're all 12 millimeter. Did I not just, did I not say that? All right, so. So, um. As far as his mouth goes, looks horrible. That looks absolutely horrible. Let's go with black. And then this thing that I've got hanging. I'm just going to kind of shove him back down there. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a sewer. So, I'm just going to give him a snap. doesn't all come undone on me. I 
So I'm going to keep stuffing this guy's head now that I've got his face on. Um, some people prefer to do the face if they're sewing it on after. But I think it's way easier to do it before because I can just tie it in a knot at the back and then stuff it. And I know that those pieces of thread aren't going to come off and go down my baby's throat. So, I don't want to overstuff because I don't want to, I can already see the stuffing through the head a little bit. So, I'm just going to make sure there's enough in the neck. And then I'm just going to do one of these to make sure it's all fluffed out around. Give them a little tug. And I think that we can just about close his head up. So, take my stitch marker out for now. So now all you're going to do is do two um, together all the way around. So I'm going to stitch my, put my stitch marker in here. So I'm going to do two together all the way around. So an aggressive close. And I am going to do that for the next two rows. So we'll get down to, should get down to about five stitches, something like that. So I'm just kind of bringing it up just so I can tighten this. Um, if you have your own technique, then that's fine. trying to keep this on camera. So now I'm just doing it with one hand because I'm just trying to, because I just want this pulled tight. So my last two before the marker. So, take your marker out. So, two, four, one, two, three, four. So, do two together five times, and then the rest of it will just sew. And five. So at this point you can fasten off. We're going to leave a long tail. So thread one of your needles. So all you want to do is come under this one stitch, I don't, not underneath both of them, just this stitch is fine. You can come under that stitch and then come under this stitch. You can do it, actually there's all kinds of different ways you can do it. You can do this stitch, this stitch, this stitch is probably easier. So when you pull, you're pulling it all together. You're going to have a little 
bit of a bump. Let's click, give a slight tug and a push. I don't really want that bump there. So, you can do a few things. You can go down into it with your needle. So you kind of pull it down a bit. But ears are going to be on top of our head. So, and once we squish all the stuffing around and stuff like that, that should not be too bad as far as the shape of the head. So, it's not horrible. Um, if you were to do the head separately, your top of your head would look like that. So it would look better, but I find it very difficult to sew the head on. Plus you get the great big wobbly head if you don't sew it on right. So this way, you're sewing it on. It's already attached. There's no head wobble business that you got to worry about. I just don't think I have enough stuffing in the, my top. I should have added more before I closed it. So I got a little bit of a, but I mean, depending on how you're going to sew your ears on, nobody's even going to notice it. So I'm just going to take this guy and shove him down somewhere, out somewhere, just uh, that's not what I meant to do. Doesn't matter how big the head of the needle is, unless I wet it like old school, I'm just not getting through there. So once you pull it down, wherever you pull it down, um, just to secure it so you know it's not going to unravel on you, just put a stitch here, put a stitch there. So I'm going to put a stitch there, and then going in the opposite direction, I'm going to put a stitch there. And then I'm going to come down and shoot back out over here. Give a little, little snug pull. And I'm just going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to go up and down a couple of times. Just to secure it. Actually, I'll go down over here. Just so if it unravels, it's got a long way to go. Yeah, I need definitely need more stuff and you can tell because when I push on it it doesn't bounce back that's how you know you don't have enough stuffing in here so no big deal so that's probably it for this video um, I will meet you in part two and we'll get the legs the arms and the ears done and, and then and then I'll definitely um, work with you to sew them on because that seems to be lacking in in videos teaching people how to actually sew these parts on so we'll see you in part two